Please turn off your cell phones and any recording devices. You can record Enjoy it. The show. Take as many photos as you want. It's good. It's fine. I don't care. Check your emails. Check your Facebook. It's fine. All right. Ready to go? All right. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, let's get going. This is a little warning at the start here. Uh, this is a story. And just growing up on this tiny little farm. And, and the farm that we, we grew up on, uh, it was a dust farm that we had. And there's my mum and my dad there. And uh, it was a good year for dust this year. We made a lot of money on the, on the dust crops. But uh, my dad is a very serious man. He's a pillar of the community in this tiny little community that we grew up on. And, uh, and this very serious man. When I was about, probably when I was about six years old, uh, one of my favourite things to do was to tell jokes. I used to like to tell knock-knock jokes. And my dad called me over when I was six years old. He sat me on his knee and he looked at me in my eyes and he said, you need to stop telling knock-knock jokes. And I said, why? And he said, because they're offensive to homeless people. <laughs> That's how serious this man is. A, ve a very serious and, and stern man. And I everyone is laughing at me because I'm short and I just don't ever want to do that. And so I refuse to hug anyone for the next seven years of my life. And my friends notice it and they say, hugging you, it's like you're burning from the inside out. And some of them say, hugging me, it's like I'm being hugged by Voldemort. I just sort of let the hug happen and, and go all weird. And, and I hug one person for the next seven years. I'm in Buenos Aires in Argentina and those guys who give out the free hugs, one of them is on the corner holding the sign. He drops his sign, swoops me up in an unconsensual hug and hugs me and pulls me tight and jumps and dances with me. And then you know what he does? He mugs me. I'm the first person he hugged mugged before. He pulls me in close and goes through my pockets to take my phone and my wallet. And I think that's a good indicator to never hug anyone ever again so I refuse to hug anyone for the next seven years of my life the other day my own mum called me selfish and I didn't know how to deal with this with my mum calling me selfish and everything but I dealt with it the way I deal with a lot of my problems these days I, uh, I wrote a poem about it because <laughs> I've gotten into poetry recently uh, I went to a poetry night has anyone been to a poetry night before poetry reading yeah, yeah. did any of the poems uh, rhyme at the poetry night that you went to no no none of the poems rhyme at poetry nights. I went to a poetry night in Melbourne, where I'm from. Two hours of non-rhyming poems. And I thought, that's easy, so I've gotten into poetry. <laughs> I just read these poems out of these leather-bound books, and they say thank you at the end, and everyone clicks their fingers. It's weird. Anyway. <laughs> All right, everybody, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I can see you. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Don't open them again. I'll do this for the entire hour if I have to. Keep them, keep them closed. Close your eyes. Focus on that darkness. Focus on the blackness behind your eyes. Just focus on that darkness. Keep them closed. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Josh, doing tech. Close your eyes. Sam, close your, close your eyes. Everyone has to close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. We'll wait for these people to come in and sit down. Okay? <laughs> guys, guys walking up the stairs. Close your eyes as you're walking. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed. Close your eyes, keep them closed. Does everyone see with their eyes closed? Don't open them, don't. I saw you look at the people walking up the stairs. Keep them closed, blonde lady. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Guys, keep, close your eyes, keep them closed. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Focus on that darkness. Stop talking and close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> That's what it's like to be blind. Open your eyes! You can see! You can see stuff! You can see stuff! You just got your reality checked! <laughs>